Hello there, my name is Bryce, and today we're going to be reviewing the Beats Pill. So, if you don't know what the Beats Pill is, it is a Bluetooth uh, speaker that is pill-shaped, and it's pretty portable, but it was made by Beats, so it's about the same quality as Beats. If you've ever worn Beats, then you know what it's going to be like. But this is exactly what I think of it. So, I took the Beats with Pillow apart because it was starting to not work anymore. I want to see if I can fix it. And the way it was made, once I took it apart, it was almost impossible to get it back together again. And it sat like this. But if you want to see what it actually looks like assembled, this is another one I have. So, I've been using this for about two years, I think. Something like that. And it's okay. But it's honestly not the best beats, not the best uh, speaker you could get, and it's not the most money efficient one that you could get, because there are a lot cheaper ones that sound much better than this. Okay, now let's talk about the accessories this thing comes with. It comes with a case. It's uh, it's pretty nice, and it's a hard case, and it comes with a um carabiner at the end, so you can clip it to your belt or your pocket or whatever you want. As well, it comes with a uh, 3.5 millimeter cord, so you can plug it into your uh, phone or whatever. Or you can plug two of them together and daisy chain them and have multiple of them together, which is a pretty nice feature. And it daisy chains pretty good. And it, as well, it comes with a uh, micro USB charging port, which allows you to charge up the, uh, the speaker. Okay, now let's talk about how this thing works. So, like any other thing, it has an on button, and this one's located on the back. So, you heard that sound. That's what it makes when it turns on. It also makes a different sound when it connects to something, which I'll show in a second. But on the back, it has a charging port, which is the uh, micro USB. It has a in port and a uh, out port for the 3.5 millimeter jack, which allows you to... Uh, plug in like a phone or something so you don't have to have it over Bluetooth. It also has a uh, Out port so if you want to daisy chain two of the uh, speakers together or two different speakers together You can do that with it So if we turn it around to the front we see we have the big uh, red beats logo pill beats logo and uh, This shows you if it's on it also shows you if um something's connected to it on the later models it uh blinks if it if it's not connected to something and it uh becomes solid like this if it is connected to something and on top it has the uh volume up and it has the volume down so now let me connect my phone to it okay so you heard that that was the sound of the uh, beats pill connecting to my phone that's the sound it makes when it connects to anything, and that just allows you to know if it is connected or not. So now let me play some music for you so you can determine how it sounds for yourself. So this is... Okay, so here I ha I'm having one of the problems that I have many of times where it doesn't... There it goes. Okay, so a second ago I was trying to say this is one of the problems I have many times. So when I was trying to turn it up, it was kind of just glitching out and it wasn't doing it at all. After a while, I pressed it enough times and it eventually started going up. But this is why I wouldn't re recommend this. But anyway, let's get back into some of the features of it. So if you press the uh, beat to pill button, it uh, pauses it. And if you press it again once, it starts it up. But if you press it twice, it skips the next song. But uh, you can't skip back because it wouldn't make sense. Okay, so let's now talk about some of the pros of this thing. Yes, it looks pretty good, especially when it's not all dented up like it is now. That's what comes with having one for three or four years. I, don't, I have no clue how long I've had it. As well, I like the um, 
one button like operation for pause uh start all that the uh, skip and you can go back and um I love that and as well all the ports on the back the in port and the out port so you can uh plug your phone in directly to it like most speakers should but I'm glad this one does and it has the out port as well that allows you to um daisy chain two speakers together or more and have a really great audio experience with something that isn't actually that great. Now let's get into some of the problems I have with this. A second ago I was saying that it wouldn't turn up the volume because I'd, I have no clue. Same reason I took apart my other one, it was starting to rattle and there was no reason for it to rattle. And so I took it apart to see what was happening and it came apart as soon as I did that because the soldering, ports were, soldering points were weak. It was poorly made and I don't know why I even got one in the first place. Because if you look at it, this Beats Pill I have right here, it's about two or three years old. And it cost $160. Now, the newest version of the Beats Pill Plus, it's called, is $230. And that's not even the most expensive Beats Pill you can get. They have a more expensive one, it's uh, the extra large, I think. And there's no point in buying this when you can get stuff like the JBL Charge 3, which is one of the best speakers out for the year, and it only costs 150 bucks. So yes, everyone knows Beats are expensive, and it's all about the name, and it, they cost so much because they spend so much money on advertising. But for the average consumer, there's no point in buying this. I would never buy one again, and I would not recommend anyone ever buy one. So, take my word of advice, and don't buy this. It's horrible.